Do it again. Oh, we're on the side of a highway eating a nitrous bottle. Uh, we need to have them higher on the street. I don't know. I've never raced this truck on the street. guys welcome back to the channel today we are going to be working on the truck i'm trying to get the nitrous all lined out because we have a race this afternoon that we're going to be taking the truck to we have not done any kind of racing with this truck except for the one time that we did it at cleanest cars on the track in houston other than that this truck has not seen any action and today we want to change that now on my nitrous bottle you see that i've got this little pressure gauge right here and basically what happens with nitrous you need to heat this bottle up until the pressure is at 950 psi that way you get an accurate shot of nitrous and it's actually converted into a liquid from a gas because under pressure the gas inside of the bottle actually converts into a liquid and that's what sprays into the uh the engine of the truck on my afr gauge in here i've actually got a switch I was going through it and I found bottle pressure. Now uh, I went ahead and got a uh, nitrous pressure solenoid and threaded it into this little adapter here and connected it. So now we're gonna hopefully be able to get a pressure reading from inside of the truck off of the nitrous bottle. And then that way I can install an electric bottle heater instead of using a torch and we'll just wrap the bottle up inside of here We've got a heater switch, so basically all I'll need to do is heat that, flip the heater switch off, arm the kit like so, and then we would be good to go to start spraying. Anyways though, let's kill this thing. I'm gonna test to make sure that this switch even works or the little pressure sensor. If this works, I would be really, really happy. That would be very convenient and really nice. That way if the bottle explodes, <clears throat> well, it won't uh, explode well, in my face. Yeah, that too. It'll yeah. explode behind me. Yeah. I don't even know how much nitrous is left in this bottle, to be honest with you. Well, I mean, we can heat it up and find out, sort of. I don't know. Spray it until it uh, doesn't work anymore. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. But right now, we should be able to turn the truck on, open the bottle, and we should have a pressure reading inside, correct? No. Why? Because. It doesn't work. It's not that simple for us. Shut up. You're first. <laughs> listen to this. Come listen to the noise. This is like my favorite noise ever. Just listen. Oh, like we got a leak. Yeah, that's we a, got a that, leak. That's a fat leak. Coming out of our pressure sensor. Sweet. Ow, f it's cold. Is there any Teflon on it? No, not currently. Yeah, we should probably put Teflon on it. It's, yeah, it's still leaking. That means it's gotta go tighter. Oh, I see. Now it's not leaking out of there. Leaking out of there. Look at the liquid. Do you see the liquid leaking out? This is, I feel like we're. Okay, hang on, hang on. I still think <laughs> we should put Teflon on it. We'll, we'll do that later. This okay. is for testing purposes. Testing purposes. Okay, bottle is open all the way. We are at 700 PSI pressure. Let's look inside. <gasps> hey, hey. What did it read on there? It's reading 585 on here, which is kind of strange. So over there it was 700? Oh, wait, I bet you I know why. Trust me, I'm a professional. Okay, now we're reading 615, so that did work. There was no pressure in the, there's air in the line still, but I don't have a, see, this is like oh, the now most- Oh, hey, 640, it's okay, going up. Yeah, this is the most ghetto rig nitrous kit ever because I don't have an actual purge. So what I do is, is I leave it in neutral, rev it up a little bit, spray it just slightly until the engine revs on its own, and that's whenever no nitrous is going into the line. Now I can go ahead and close this bottle. Hey, you too. Do you think that Gavin should wrap his Mustang gloss black rose? I don't know if, can you see that on camera? Can you see Kinda. the color? We don't have much light. There you go. Right. Oh yeah. yeah. Everybody, is, everybody is now in support because I said it. Oh, you think so? Yeah. <laughs> or, or should we wrap I swear, it? I swear if you say carbon fiber, I'm gonna Should we you. wrap it gloss black? I, can, I hate Whoa. <laughs> what, what a change. That would be crazy to wrap it gloss black. I think it'd look awesome. No, you gotta wrap the wheels. The wheel, the chrome, oh. The chrome lip, or like just the face, you gotta wrap that. That would look pretty good too. So basically, if you guys don't know, Justin works with us at uh, Six Media. We kind of have set up a race today between my car and his car. You guys have probably seen it on the channel. You saw me and Harry were replacing his water pump the other day in a video. No car, no car. 
No, <laughs> shut up. So anyways, I think it's gonna be pretty surprising for him because this truck honestly has surprised me. It's pretty quick, especially for a truck. It runs bottom 12. Well, it ran a bottom 12 on the one pass that, well, no, wait, wait, wait. No, we made two passes in the truck, huh? Yeah, I've only made two passes with the truck since we got nitrous on it. The first pass, it spun really, really bad. Ran a 13.5. The second pass was a decent-ish. I didn't spray out of the hole at all. So I waited until I got out of the hole pretty good, about 60 feet, sprayed, <clears throat> and it hooked and went, and it ran an 11.2 that time, I think. 12.1. I mean, no, yeah, 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 not 11.2, I'm sorry, I'm stupid, 12.1, yeah. Huh? What was the 60 foot? Yeah, like 1.8? 60 foot was stupid slow, I think. 2.0. Oh, damn. The, uh, that's what I said, I didn't spray out of the hole. I waited until I got about the 60 foot and then hit it. I went out of the hole. Well, yeah, but it was sprinkling, you remember? So I didn't want to, I didn't want to bust them loose. I wanted to get at least oh, one solid pass excuses. in. Excuses. It's not excuses, it's, I just wanted to have a pass. Yeah, it's excuses. You're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, though, so now, hopefully, we're going to be able to test this thing out on the street. We have not gotten to do it yet. Oh, 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 speaking of, we need to do the tire pressure. On the truck? Yeah. 16 pounds. I bet you that's what they're at right now. 16 pounds? Yes, 16. Do we need to have them higher on the street? I don't know. I've never raced this truck on the street. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, then I guess we'll just leave them. What are you doing? I'm gonna see how hard it was to turn when he's over because I've never used an engine stand before. So I wanted to like pull the pin and just tilt it a little bit. Leave Justin's motor alone. I know it has, I know it should have some play left and right because it did before you put the engine on, but I can't even turn it now. Because there's a heavy ass engine on it. We should have put grease in here. Probably, yeah. That would have been a good idea. And I have a lot of grease, so that could have been a great idea. Well, yeah, because you're a greasy person. Oh, okay, thanks. You're welcome. The truck is gonna hurt some feelings today, I think. So, maybe. yeah, maybe. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. Yo. Definitely. Yeah. Hey, you know what'd be funny? What? I've got I've got another nitrous bottle here, right? <laughs> you get where I'm going here? What is what is all this stuff? What's all this nonsense? That uh, it's like a big mass airflow thing. Where does this go? Bro, chill out. It goes right here. We could definitely drill a hole right here and put a nozzle right there. But the only problem is though, I don't think the hood would clear. We'll just take the hood put off. The... <laughs> Or we could drill a hole right here and run the run the stainless line up here, up through the hood, around, and you could hold the bottle right there. Hey, come here. What? Look, we don't put it at the top right here. We put it facing into the manifold. Oh, we're so dumb. It, yeah, just put yeah, it into the real, manifold. We're, no, it's a direct shot. We're oh. big. We're big dumb. You could sit in the passenger seat and crack the bottle, and we could just spray a direct dry shot into the car. No, we're not doing this right now. Should we or should we not try to put nitrous on the Miata for a future video? Why are you asking that question? I don't know. We already know the answer. Yeah, I guess everybody's gonna say yes anyways. I don't know why we're asking. If we put nitrous on it, we could find some pretty cool cars to race, I think. Bro, this is a, it's just a six sign iPhone case. Where'd you get this from? Go die. <laughs> Harry should be back soon. Oh, Harry would be a good race for that. Harry's EcoBoost versus the nitrous Miata. It's a nitrous Harry's EcoBoost. No, we should not nitrous hair. Yeah, they would get it and be like, there's a hole here, a nitrous no. nozzle, and a crack in the block. No. We shouldn't even, wait, should we? We could tune the Miata for nitrous too. Hmm? Yeah, we're getting us a... Uh, uh, yeah, we're, we're getting a... Uh, we're getting a nothing. Uh, Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We're getting some stuff that we're going to be able to tune the Miata with. One thing though that I have not had, I have not had anything with a turbo yet. I thought you were going to say cocaine. No, I've not had cocaine either, but you can build a 1.8 liter Miata engine, which this is a 1.6, but the 1.8 apparently is a little bit stronger. You can build a 1.8 to hold a lot of power and get a big fat turbo for it for very, very cheap, surprisingly cheap. So we might go that route one day, but Dude. nitrous on the stock engine would be fun you for sure. You can't start just saying that everything is cheap after I made that list for you. Shut up, Daniel. <laughs> It is cheap, especially if we did what we were talking about last night, where we just do it ourselves, kind of. Just take a, whenever you upgrade Harry's EcoBoost, just take the stock turbo off of that and use it. Budget build. Dude, Justin is taking forever. Hey, where are you at? You, you checking it out already? I was at the car wash because my car is still in polish all of my car last night. He's already making oh. <laughs> Daniel said you're already making excuses. Yeah, whatever. I didn't have a... Uh, Okay, yeah, we'll we'll try it around here and see if we can get this the uh, heater. Okay, or the... Do I need to wash my car or not? <laughs> okay, I'll, well, you can go wash it if you want to, but we're we're just waiting up here. So whenever you want to get up here, we'll be here. All right, good deal. Bye. All right, bye. Nice, thank you. So I'm assuming you think you're gonna win. I'm not even gonna empty my trunk. Really? No. Man, you you, you were, you're really it. feeling good about this one. <laughs> we're trying to set our idle adjustment <laughs> for our uh, torch here. Oh, 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 tighten it small. 
Do it again. Oh! Let it go! Let it go! Away from. Oh, oh, bro, God, what? Bro, oh my God. God. Go with your car. Go with your car. Right? Uh, well. Oh, fuck your shit, That's dude. Hot. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 It'll run out eventually or, or blow up. That was really poor planning. Yeah. What now? Is it going to blow that up? That was really poor planning. Justin, what's about to happen? Turn it off. No, you're not. Yeah, you just turn it off. Do not go up to that. Don't do that. I'm telling you, that's a really bad idea. Oh god, that's gonna be hot. Well, the rag is on fire now. That was a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> Can conclude was a bad idea. I value life too much to do what you just did. So props to you. I don't want to get near the bottle right now. I know how bottles get whenever they're hot. Yeah, it's not like we heat nitrous bottles up to 950 psi or anything. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, they're yeah, they're yeah. rated for that. That little thing. Do not grab that. You are an absolute animal. Yeah. You are wild. Listen, I don't want to hold this. No, Stop. no, go away. Let's not leave it out in the sun. Okay, leave it, leave it in the shade outside the building at least. No, not angle towards us. Put it, <laughs> Justin. <laughs> That, way. <sighs> that was the largest failure. That was the worst throw. I don't know why I panicked so bad. It, I lit it and it got, just like engulfed my whole hand in flames. I was like, yay, and just that chunked actually, it. That was actually just trying to like hurt your car so you can win a race. That's no. exactly what it was. That is, not, car, that is not. That is <laughs> not. You saw how scared, you saw how scared of that bottle I was. I still dove under there and grabbed that bottle Kevin and threw said, it out. Kevin said, oh, it's under your car. Justin, move your car. And then was like, wait, no, I can, I can move it. Next Call of Duty isn't going to have Molotovs. They're going to have just giant propane bottles. People on fire. I'm not getting near you. We're not going to like not use it. He's trying to light it again. I'm not using it. I'm not getting close to you. I'm just going to sit here and watch you try to fix it. This was a really bad. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Imagine if the it twisted it all up. If that broke off, that'd be so funny. No, that would not. This is why I was saying that we need to get an electric heater. So that way we just wired into the truck. I hit oh, the switch. Yeah. Heater comes on real nice and electric. <laughs> so, <I'm laughs> and it heats it. I turn it off. And the bottle's behind me. So if it explodes, so, it explodes behind me. Now we need like some quarter inch steel to put behind your back glass. So that way if it blows up, it doesn't hey, kill anybody in there. Like oh, thanks. You're welcome. Just in case you need it. Look at this. We almost burnt down the new shop. We hadn't even gotten to do anything in it yet. That's not good. Not gonna lie, I absolutely did just now panic. That was pretty scary. Was not expecting that whole entire bottle to just ignite like that. Oh! I just saw where the singed hair smell was coming from. Yeah, no! Come around, come around. <laughs> come hold the camera. Hold the camera. I said I found out where the singed hair smell came from. Look. <laughs> Wait, it won't focus. Oh my god, that's uh, that's, that's great. That's funny. Yeah. Oh no. Oh my god. You're good. I burnt the hair. I was wondering why it smelled so strong. Oh my god. Gavin, you need a shower. You stink. <laughs> okay, we are gonna now run to Walmart. Come on, Doggle. Come on, Demi Daigle. <laughs> the log button sounds so cute. Where's the torch? They're down here in hunting. In hunting? Mm -hmm. I thought that they were... Oh yeah, camping. You're right, you're right, you're right. Are you sure? I'm following you. I don't know where I'm going, so... Oh, here's a bunch of propane bottles. No. Oh wait, look. Yep, you they come in a set of four. For six bucks. Are you serious? And then this one's got the igniter already on it, so we don't have to blow ourselves up. Cool, close enough. All, All right. right. Now I need coffee. Coffee, fa, 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 fa. Huh? No, I'll start everywhere. Dude, I do that every day. I'm just putting the Z's wheels on my daily so I don't have to get new tires. Is that, wow. Is that bad? Yeah, we got some torch. Coffee. <laughs> we got some coffee for Daniel. Yeah. We're about to go try and find Justin now and go drag that ass in his Challenger. Oh wait, before we go, we should probably hook up that nozzle to the bottles just to make sure that it works. He's gonna open. <laughs> it works. It works? Yep. It's a Dope. Baby. It's a little baby torch, but still a torch. Okay, now that we got the torch, we got everything working, we can heat the bottle up properly. We uh, exploded one torch, we're good to go. Oh, both windows. Man. 
Fancy. Oh my God, we're passing cow pastures. Oh, dude, I taste it. It's never smelled like that before down here. No, dude, this is making my there eyes are. water. There they are, right there. Right oh there. my oh. God, this is awful. Yeah, they used to not be there. All right, we're good now. Hey, you wanna do 30? I'm about to break in your nitrous virginity. It was great whenever I broke mine. I've never had a guy pop my cherry before. Oh gosh. <laughs> Turn the nitrous on. Let's purge our nitrous. Well guys, we made it back up here to the shop and uh, everything went pretty dang good. That was very surprising coming from this truck. I knew it was fast, but like I said, I have not gotten to run it against anything on the street. So I didn't know how fast it actually was. But needless to say, this nitrous does work, seriously. It was already very, very fast, even on motor. I can, I, it blew my mind, but I guess it makes sense though. The truck does make a lot more power than the Challenger does, and it weighs similar to the same. The single cab uh, Silverados of this year do not weigh that much. So that makes a lot of sense, but on nitrous, it was unbelievable how fast this truck was. So we are definitely gonna have to find a lot more stuff around here to race. That's gonna be really, really cool. I think that a lot of these 5.0s around in this town are gonna be very, very, butt hurt once we get uh get the truck running right with nitrous to get the bottle heater and everything in here it's gonna be awesome so that is gonna be exciting 
Daniel, what? how do you think the truck would do against the Sox C6 Corvette? I think it'd get it up to like 120, 130. We need to do some dig stuff with a with a Corvette on the street. That would be fun. Anyways, though, we are going to definitely be lining up a lot more races coming up soon with the truck now that we have everything set up pretty much how we like it for right now. We got the tune dialed in perfect. Everything is great, so I am excited. What? Bring it! Oh, oh, Daniel says that this is a call out now. This is a call out video. Anybody? <laughs> <laughs> Anybody local to here, if you think that you got it, come find out. We got a truck now. It's it's fast, kind of. There's a worldwide call out. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to run the Mustang, so now we're just going to have to call people out with the truck. Anyways, I will talk to you guys next video. Hopefully, we find a lot more races. Like I said, this is uh, uh, going to be cool because this truck is slow enough to still do a lot of fun stuff on the street without being sketchy like the Mustang, but definitely fast enough to hurt a lot of sports cars feelings in a work truck. It's going to be great. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button, drop this video a like, all that good stuff, and I will see you guys next video.